Welcome again to this ASP.NET Core tutorial. In the previous video, we have created two areas in this application and now we have to work on the routing with this area. Let's open the Visual Studio. If you are new to area in ASP.NET Core, then I would recommend to watch the previous video of this tutorial and then continue from this video to learn the concept of routing in area. In the previous video, we have created these two areas admin and financial. Let's run this application by pressing Ctrl F5. Suppose I want to add a link over here on the top menu to access that admin or the financial area. Let's see how can we do that. Let's open the Visual Studio again and let's open the top navbar file. So that is available in this views folder then shared then we have this header and here we have defined our nav items. So let's copy this code, paste it again, give it a name like admin and now we have to define the controller and the action name. The controller is home and the action is index now remember this controller is available in admin area so we have to define one more attribute over here and the name is asp area and in this attribute we have to define the name of our area name of the area is admin save the changes go back to the browser refresh this page let's click on this link the route is not working fine why because we have not defined the route in our area file Let's open the home controller that is available under this admin area. This is the home controller and over here you can see that we have defined just the name of our area. We have not defined the routing over here. So how can we enable the routing? We need to use the route attribute here. In the route attribute we need to define a route. Suppose it is admin. Then I want to define the name of the controller. So here I can write controller and then I want to get the name of our action method so here i can simply write action we have already covered the concept of routing in one of the previous video that concept is also applicable over here so these are the variables and these values will get replaced dynamically by this value and the action names that are available under this file let's build the solution by pressing ctrl shift b go back to the browser refresh this page click on the admin and this time you will see that this link is working fine. Now suppose instead of using this controller name and the action method name, I want to create my own route. Let's see how can we handle that situation in areas. Here we have defined this route and there are two ways. Either you can override this route over here completely. So here in this base route, you can simply define the name of your area or just the base part of your URL. So suppose the base part is admin and the rest part you can define on your controllers. So this will be treated as the base route and here I'm not writing anything else. So I can access this particular Excel method only by using this admin. And suppose here also I want to add some more routing. So I can do that easily by using again the route attribute. Details. And that's it. So this is how you can handle the routing in areas. Let's build the solution. Go back to the browser. Refresh this page. Again click on this admin link. And this time you will see that we only have this admin. We are having this error message because we have not defined the routing for these Excel methods that are available in this space. So if we will define the routing for these Excel methods, then this error will be resolved automatically. Now let's test the second one. So suppose here I'm writing details, then some value 4, click on the enter button and this space is also working fine. Now suppose on this details space, I want to add one more link to navigate back to the home page of this particular Excel method. Let's see how can we do that. Let's go to the view file of this particular action method. So here suppose I want to add one more link. And here we need to define a couple of things like ASP action. ASP action in this scenario is nothing. So we, we can leave it blank. Then we have ASP controller. And you can notice that we are not having the intelligence. There is a reason behind that. Suppose here I'm writing action method name is home, then the action. Suppose the action name is index. Save the changes. Let's save the changes and go back to the browser. So here you can see that we have the text, but it is not available as a link. So let's right click on this one and choose inspect. Here you can see that we have all the values but it is not working as a link and to generate a link from this code we need to use the tag helpers. 
how to do that let's go to the views folder that is available at the root level then under the shared folder here you can see that we have two files this is the view imports and then we have the view start so this view imports file is required if you want to use the tag helper in our area so let's copy this file and go back to the area and in this views folder and let's paste this file save the changes again let's open the same view file and this time you can see that the color of these attributes has been updated automatically and we even have the entire sense so if i'm writing over here asp dash then you can see we have all the attributes that are available in asp.net core save the changes let's build this application again go back to the browser refresh this page this time you will see that we have a link click on this one and it is working fine this is how you can add a route while using the areas in your asp.net core application now for your practice you have to add one layout file under this admin area one layout file under this financial and add couple of controllers and action methods in both the areas and add proper navigation in between these areas and the main file that we have at the root level and you can make all the changes directly on the git repository so you can clone the code at your local system the link is available in the description box of this video you can simply create one branch from that repository add your changes and just raise a pull request if everything is working fine then i will merge that code into the master branch and then everyone will use your code that is all in this video make sure to hit the like button your feedback in the comment section share this video and subscribe to the channel thank you for watching have a great day